Hello traders, FS Pipcoletti here. Today is Tuesday, May 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly dollar Canadian, I still think this is probably going to end up being an uptrend. I did have to change it up a little because of how corrective this looks. If that was the end of a question right here, then this would be trending down and it's not. Instead, it made a very, very corrective overlapping pattern telling me that it's probably going to go up at least one more time. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, I think this is an A. I think we have three waves up for a B, and I think this is a C. I think there's a good chance the wave C is going to end, and this is just going to keep on going up, maybe even all the way back up to these highs to make a nice uptrend looking something like that. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can start to see the trend right here for the wave C. You see impulsive up, break of structure, and then you see three waves down. It is a little bit of a higher low also. I think there's a very good chance that this has already ended a question and that we're already continuing the uptrend, telling me that I am definitely going to continue to look for sorting opportunities on sorter time frames for the continuation of this potential uptrend. So heading down to the four hour time frame, four hour time frame, our last structure level is right here. So for me, the trend is definitely up. As you can see, it's been making higher lows this whole way up. So even though it is kind of overlapping, it definitely is a trend and it definitely is trending. And I do not see any reason to think it's over. So I'm just going to continue to look for longs at the end of pullbacks. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, what are we looking for? We're looking for three waves down, impulsive up to go long. Three waves down, impulsive up, go long. As you can see, this right here turned out to be a good entry. It's probably not even over yet. It's probably just going to continue to drift up. But I'm um, sure so eventually, probably even near these highs back here, we'll see another pullback, another impulsive move up for another entry to go long. So like I said, higher time frames are definitely showing me the trend is trying to go up. Shorter time frames are just going to continue to go long at the end of any of these pullbacks that I may see. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.